Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I'm back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we are still here at Alaska at Kanee Creek. In the last episode, we managed to get six out of the ten of the monster albino blackfish and ran out of the caviar bait. And now we have to go back and finish the first mission to get the caviar bait, which Actually, I never recorded, so that's probably a good thing. So at least you can see what it's going to take to catch that. So we are going to start off here at Angling the Middle Earth. This is probably one of the best locations to fish for all different species of salmon and salmon species. Now we've got to catch all the ones you see on the left. Chinook salmon, sockeye salmon. Pink Salmon, Coho, Chum, Dolly Varden, and the Bull Trout, which is in the salmon family, but not really a salmon. Um, most of them will be caught right here, honestly. And we're going to do some bottom fishing. We're going to do some lure fishing. It is at the peak time, so this is the time to get them. Now, for the sockeyes, we need to get right over here. There is a number of rocks here that is a really excellent spot to catch them right in this area i've caught them quite a few times so we're going to go ahead and set up our rod pod we've got the massive rod pod going on here so we can get this thing rocking and they love the spawn sacks And that's what we're going to be fishing with. I'm going to toss some right out there. That should get us the coho, if I'm not mistaken. And or the chum. I'm going to use some natural eggs. We'll try that out here. Maybe we can get some bull trout with those. Because there's sort of more in the middle there. I think I had the wrong rod there. And we are going to switch that off. Let's see, what do we got? Two aught. I think we're going to do spawn sacks again. And we're going to see if we can't get some pink salmon. And I've seen a lot of the pink salmon right over here. They're not as big as some of the others. Let's see, I've got, yes I do have a lure rod. I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to a crankbait. I think we'll go with one that's really shallow though because we're talking really shallow water. I don't care if it's too light, that's not going to be a, much of an issue here. We're going to see if we can't get something. We may have to switch over and do some float fishing because the bottom fishing, I've not had as much luck with the bottom fishing here as I have the float fishing. There we go, we got one. They usually go for these single spoons pretty well. They go for the medium sometimes. This should get one of the ones we're trying to get. Let's see, what do we get here? We got us a trophy chum salmon. Well, that's the first. 1233. We're going to try over here. I really want to get a bull trout. They do like the lift and drop, and it's a little easier to do it here than it is any of the other fisheries because it's so shallow. See what I mean? Whatever this is, he's not 
really hanging on there too tight. Let's see what do we got this one. It's a pink one. Okay. There's two of them. Now the bulls we might have to get with float fishing. I have caught them with lures, but I usually catch them with shiners a lot easier. Looks like we're gonna get us a snag first though. That's kind of expected with all the rocks. What gets me is I haven't brought anything other than fish in. Okay, let's try this again. That's always risky though because of the... This is kind of the chum... Chum salmon area and since we already got one I'd rather get a coho if I could. Oh, I got something. It could be shells, it could be backlash, an old boot. <laughs> it's a shell. That uh, was kind of inevitable. Let's try through here. I already know where to get the sockeye. <laughs> Kind of amazed the bottom rods haven't done anything. I mean, they don't work as well here as some locations, but they usually do something. There we go. We got something here. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping that it is a sockeye. Nope, it's a Dolly Varden. Even better. There you go, guys. These are a little tougher to get, too, so getting him right off the bat is pretty darn good out of all these he's probably the toughest next to the bull trout the others they're usually pretty easy to get I can usually get the sockeyes right here too I'm kind of amazed I got the Dolly Varden this just goes to show you how many species can be caught just in this one location but they do seem to prefer the lure fishing and the float fishing. I've just got them out there because I have them, honestly. There is a better spot for the bottom fishing. And if we have to go there, we will go there and I will show you it. I think we just got our sockeye here. Nope. Another Dolly Varden. That's impressive. A trophy one, too. Holy crap. I'm going to have to remember that they go for that green single spoon. I have not been able to get them that quite that often off of one type of, of lure. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me take a look here. Is that the float rod? Yes, it is. We are going to switch that hook. I put a two odd hook on there and I am going to put a shiner on here. No, no. Spawn sack. We're going to see if we can't get the soccer. We're going to see if we can't get a sock on here. Sorry about my dog. And we definitely have us some kind of fish. I think it might be the sockeye. Nope, another Dolly Varden. Damn. <laughs> what is with the Dolly Vardens? Okay, let's try. I'm trying to remember where I saw the bull ones. I think I'm too far down here. Yep, the bulls used to be right around here. 
between those two rocks. And they definitely went for the shiners. That's a sock I just jumped. And there's the sockeye. Trophy sockeye. 717. And still no bull. Might get one over here if we're lucky. I've gotten them over here before. But they definitely are a shiner favoring fish. Definitely getting chased. There we go. We got one. It's a chum. Well, we already got one of those, and we're out of the shiners, of course. <laughs> Figures. Well, since we are out of shiners, we might want to try the dragonflies or. The mayflies, they might do pretty well. These bull trout are going to be a little bit harder to find. We got us a bite right off the bat. Not too bad. Let's see here. Ah, uh, pink salmon again. Like I said, the bull trout are very difficult to find. I don't know why they are so hard, but... We might have to go ahead and go for the coho and come back and get these guys. I've only seen them here. There we go. We got it. And there is the coal hole. So we're down to the bull trout and the Chinook salmon. The Chinook are very easy to get, but I catch them only occasionally here. I have a spot that I always catch them at. The bull trout, that's a different story. I'm afraid this is going to be the one that's going to be giving us some trouble here. But I knew that for the beginning. I wouldn't be as concerned if I had a spinner that would suffice, but we're going to have to use this type of bait, I'm afraid. Might be a good sign. I don't know. That doesn't. Yep. Yeah. Trophy Dolly Varden. I mean, that's great, but <laughs> that's not what we need. Oh, boy. It's like right off the shore, something is attacking it here. Nope, it's another. Damn, I am getting the Dolly Vardens like crazy. I've never gotten this many of them. But yeah, what I saw on this one, it looked a lot like... Didn't have a lot of, Didn't have a lot of color, which is a good sign. They don't. They're just gray. I 
Well, let's go get our bottom rods. It's amazing. Nothing bit off of that here. That's all going to change here in a just a short amount of time. You know, let me go ahead and retrieve these and I will show you what I mean. Alright, I got all my rods and I am going to go back to the map. We're going to go back to the location where the cabin is. I think actually it's called Hunter's Cabin. I couldn't remember. And we need to go all the way to the right. I think I've done a video on this for grinding the Chinook Salmon, but you can get some serious XP over here if you so desire. Bottom fishing, float fishing, lure fishing, all at this same location. But to get there, you gotta go way down here. As far as you can go. And I will tell you, there are probably not going to be any bull trout here. So we're going to have to spend a little time to find one of those again. I've always had trouble finding them. You have to get them at the right time, and you have to get them in the right spots. Might even do an episode of just bull trout, just because they are that tough to get. But... This is it, and you can even see a marker where I've got set up. This is the excellent bottom fishing spot for this particular fishery. Now, normally, everywhere else, you're not going to get as much, but here you will. If you check the map, you'll see that there is a hole right out there where these two markers are placed, and in those holes, you're going to get fish. Especially the Chinooks. This is where I've caught the unique Chinooks, and they bring a lot of cash. I'm going to throw that right out there in the center. Take the tension down a little bit. We're going to go with natural eggs for this one. Spawn sacks for that one. And spawn sacks for the last one. I don't think I have the artificial eggs, but usually, like I said, it doesn't take long. Here we go, right off the bat. This will probably be our Chinook. Damn. Like I said, this is a awesome spot. There's the Chinook. It's like which one to pick here. Don't think it really matters. We're going to get a fish either way. Ah, we strike. But this is where the Chinook are. That is where you're going to find them. You're going to find them in all sizes. Right at this spot right here. This is the unique Chinook location. You will also find the sockeye salmon. But other than that, you might get a, a, the occasional northern pike. But the others are pretty much over there where I was showing you earlier. I'm going to put that back down because I don't think it's ready yet. I've never been able to get bull trout anywhere but at those rocks. So I'm going to have to spend a little time looking at that. To try to figure out where they are located exactly. But at night, I've never fished for the bull trout. So I don't know if we're going to find any here. Probably not, since we don't have any shiners. That is really 
really concerning me. Usually I have a multitude of shiners in my inventory, and this time I do not. Which I think I might try changing that to dragonflies just to mix it up. <clears throat> We're going to switch from the single spoon over to the crankbait. And I'm going to go with an 8 foot glow in the dark one. And right, well, you just saw Saka take a jump out of the water. You can get Coho here as well. I forgot about them. Occasionally you might get a chum, but I haven't gotten as many of those. The chums seem to hang around more around the rocks, but they are here. Let's see what we got on this one. This is off of natural eggs. Another Chinook. See, we're going to pay for our trip easily. This is where you really want to do the grinding, guys. Kind of surprised I didn't get a bite. Usually they do go for that one. They'll go for this one and the blue one really well. But you need about, about 8 feet to 12 feet. I wouldn't go over 12 feet. It's just not that deep here. There is a hole there, though. And a lot of times as it's passing over the hole, that's when the fish will go for it. It doesn't hurt every now and then to pause it just to give the fish time to catch up. There's the hole right there. As you can see, it's somewhere in the middle of there, not all the way to the bottom. And there's a fish. And a fairly decent one. Looks like another Chinook. Yep. About the same time we got one on the bottom rod. Off the dragonflies. And we got one off of that one. You do this through the night, guys, you are going to get all kinds of XP. And I'm not having any issues getting XP right now because I really need it. See what I mean? They are just everywhere around here. And... So this is the big hot spot. We're going to toss that one out there too. There we go. See what I mean? Might take a minute. This is a big fish. Holy crap. This is a really big fish. Right off that medium holographic spoon. It's a Chinook. I did see the flash of red. I mean, they're not as red as the Dolly Varden or the some of the others. Oh my gosh, this might be unique. Oh my god. That would be cool. To pull in a unique here in this episode. And I've got more than enough line to pull him in. Yeah, I think it might be, guys.
They love to pull that crap. I was going to say, when they let up, definitely hammer them hard. Get them in there. Now I've got another one. But I'm not giving up on this. I know this is at least a trophy, if not a unique. it, but I think, thank God, he is really testing me here. I cannot. Damn. Yeah, this has got to be unique, guys. There's no other way. I mean, seriously. He is making me fight for every foot that I gain. Literally, like I said, every foot that I gain. I just gained damn near 50 feet and he just took it out 30. He's doing it again. God bless. There he goes. Holy shit. Sorry about that. Mm. Just when I start to get an upper hand, he just goes for it. God bless fish. This is not a little rod. He is. Oh my god. Well, like I said, I need the XP and I am determined to get this son of a gun in. I almost got him to a hundred feet and he is he just keeps taking out the hundred and fifty. One more. You'd think you'd be tired by now. Okay, that's the first time I've had it under 100 feet this whole time. And he is not making it easy for me. There he goes again. fish that's like I have to fight for every foot
Okay, we're starting to make a little progress. Finally. think, well, I thought, <laughs> just when I think I'm going to really say, I think I finally get him, get him, got him or whatever. He just takes it out another 20 feet. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yes. And he is a unique, oh my god. 69 pounds. I knew he had to be a unique. There's no other way. 400, no, 4,711 cash. 1,994 XP gained. Oh man. That, that's a fish, guys. That is a fish. That is a monster. Well, we still got our bulk trout to catch, but we have played this long enough, without a doubt. We've done very well. Very, very well. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to continue on with this mission to eventually complete <laughs> the monster fish mission. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.